Sorry for calling this late. It's just that I don't know what to do anymore. Can you believe I, I just had the dream again? The same dream? The exact same dream. Wow. <sighs> don't you think we need to look a little deeper? What do you mean? Like, maybe our interpretation of this dream isn't accurate. <sighs> they mean. I know how God speaks to me. Eh? I mean, I've received countless direct instructions from the Lord before. What if this one is symbolic? Okay, let's revise it. You are tending to some beautiful flowers in the garden. You are wearing a gardener's uniform. And someone who looks like the owner of the garden comes to you to give you the cap of the uniform. Am I on track? Yes, but that's not all. I then tell him I don't need a cap and bring out a scarf to tie my head instead. The man doesn't leave me. He insists I use the cap. Demi, I can still hear the echo of his voice in my ears. He, and this is the third time I am having this dream, Demi. The third time. Hmm. And you've been covering your hair for how long now? Two months. Two whole months. Demi, I cover my hair to the bathroom, I cover it to sleep, I cover it to the kitchen, I, co I practically cover my hair everywhere. My hair is already even smelling. <laughs> mm -mm. No, please, don't make light of my consecration. I'm sorry, I respect your sacrifice, really. You know, but let's just trust God for the interpretation of this dream. Could it be I'm not covering it well enough? Could it be? Okay, you know, I already had a different covering that wasn't appropriate for what I was wearing, right? And the man gives me another one to cover my head that was appropriate. Hmm. I need to go shopping. Hmm different covering that makes sense that makes sense let's just trust god for clarity all right so please leave my phone i want to sleep okay sleep tight thank you happy 
How many times has she had that dream now? <laughs> Three times. Three times. I think she needs to pray more, especially about the interpretation. <laughs> it can't be as simple as covering your head, especially since she's been having the same reoccurring dream for a while now. Yeah, it does. It makes sense. It can't be just. <sighs> Listen to me. This notice is way too short now. It's way too short. Consider us now. Consider us too. How do you increase the rent and tell us that it's going to commence on immediately? Who does that? Mr. Landlord. No, Mr. Landlord, listen, listen. Mr. Yesin, Mr. Yenin, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I, I work with a yearly budget. And this has already exceeded my budget. Ah. Hello? No, no, wait. Ah. Uh. Tony, explain this. Ma'am, I'm not in the mood. Tony, I am intentionally choosing to be calm right now because I don't want to be angry. Did I tell you to put this remaining soup in the freezer yesterday night or not? Mira, Answer me. Mira, see, I'm not in the mood to talk about this at all. Can you not just do something right for once? Really? Tony, for goodness sake, I trusted you with this. I literally asked if it would be a problem. You said no. Now, the soup is bad. Because of your ignorance. And the annoying thing is that you would never take responsibility. That's the problem I have with you. Ah ah! Can't you just be a responsible husband for once? Is this how forgetful you will be when we start having children? Tony, I am fed up of always having to clean up your mess. I am fed up! Why do I even bother?
Jesus. I don't know, I don't understand. My head is covered. I'm covering it like you said, God. I'm covering my head. I don't know why I keep having this dream. God, please talk to me. Is it put clarity? Am I missing something? God, what are you saying? Am I not covering it well? Jesus, please help me. Father, please help me. I shed light on this thing. I don't understand. I'm trying to cover as much as I can. Please, God, help me. Help me. In Jesus' name. Mimi. Eh? I promise I'll return your money. I'll return your money. What more do you want, Tony? What more do you want? Yeah. Fine. I know you were saving up for the online college tuition. I know. Is that even the point? Wait, wait, Mir Miriam. 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 I'm sorry you had to pay. I'll not pay the money myself. But you know I can't spend anyhow now. I'm trying to raise up for the additional rent. And, and, and what? Tony, and what? Do you realize it was your ego that caused what just happened? I warned you, didn't I? I warned you to drive carefully. But you will not listen. And not only did you end up splashing muddy water on an innocent man, you almost caused us an accident. But you know it was not intentional. The brake failed. Whose fault was that? Whose fault was that? Have I been the one driving the car? Who should know better about the car? You or me? Why weren't you more cautious? Eh? Look at what you did to someone's car. And unfortunately for us, of all the cars on the road, you didn't see anyone to hit. It was a Range Rover that you went to hit, Tony. A Range Rover! Okay, please, let's just calm down. And let's just be grateful that nobody got hurt or injured. See, it, it, was, it was a serious collision. Fine, I agree. You told me to chill. But, but I was just trying that we should rush up because we were late for the program. We are there now. We are the program, right? Look, I am grateful to God. Yes, I am. But the point is that because of your arrogance and pride, you cost me the money I've been saving. Why, why do I have to keep paying for your shortcomings? Why? To repair that car and the bumper, the side of the car and the bumper. We were built 400,000. 400,000 Naira. Tony, and we have not repaired our own car. Why can't you pull your weights? Aren't you tired of always slacking? Why? Why, why don't you ever do the right thing? Why? What kind of a priest are you? You make me sick. Tony, you make me weak. I'm trying. Yeah. What? and the Father and the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. 
Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands and everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave oh himself God. for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing ah. of water by the word, that he might present it to himself I a glorious church, it. not having it. spot or wrinkle Holy or Spirit. any such thing, but that it should be holy and without ah. blemish. Oh my God. They me have gotten it. I have gotten it. Calm down. Wait, Mimi, calm down. You've gotten what? It is in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. God, how could I have been so blind? It's there. It is there, they me, as clear as day. I mean, how could I have missed this for so long? Wow. <laughs> have you seen it? Have you seen it? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, Demi, God has been speaking. God has been speaking. I just chose not to listen. Hmm. Cover your head. Miriam, there'll be times the head will not be in his best state. There'll be times his state of heart will not be the most perfect form to take responsibility or even make amends. Ah, I see it now. Demi, I see it. I mean, if your head was always going to get things right, the Bible wouldn't instruct you to cover them, you know? I mean, this is why two are better than one. Not for the man to play Alpha and Omega, but for the battle tactic to be solid. What do you mean battle tactic? Okay, when an army goes to war, we have the defense position and the offense position. When, the, when those in the offense position are, you know, attacking the enemy and firing darts at the enemy, those in the defense position must be intentional about securing the safety of the soldiers. And in marriage, these roles switches between the husband and the wife. Hmm. So, sometimes when the husband is in the offensive position, the wife is in the defensive, securing the home from counter-attacks. Remember what we talked about in the last Sisters Fellowship? Wives are gatekeepers. And gatekeepers do what? They keep the gates. They secure the territory. Wow. Yeah, and sometimes these role switches, you know, have you ever watched a movie where there is a shootout, say, between, you know, the police force and armed men? And when maybe a police officer wants to change his position, he shouts, cover me, cover me, and then he runs to an advantage position. Hmm. Cover me. Yes, I have. Wow. How could I have been so clueless? Miriam, you also cover your spouse by handling their errors with grace and love. When you hurl insults and hurtful words to your spouse, you are siding with the enemy to attack their hearts. Instead of standing with them, you're standing against them. <sighs> Demi, I am guilty of this and more. You see, Tony has been making so many blunders recently. You know, sometimes I'll see things coming. I'll tell him about it. He will not listen. He will fall right into what I saw coming. How can I cover him when his pride isn't letting him heed instructions or words of caution? Miriam, how did you say those words of caution? With grace or with spite? And even if he wasn't heeding your words of caution, that doesn't stop your covering him. It doesn't. We have to cover our partners in prayers as well. When you notice a level of pride that is detrimental to the family, what are you supposed to do? Talk to him about it. And then what? Take it to God in prayers. Yes, that is the primary way of covering for your spouse. Miriam, when last did you pray for Tony? Hmm? When last? Can I give you one last point? You're supposed to write book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. You cover your spouse 
by supporting and submitting. Those are two points, though. I thought to add an extra one. Thank you, Demi. You know, I know for a fact I haven't really been intentional in this area. Once he messes up, I just look the other way or make it clear to him that I told him it was going to happen. I haven't exactly been supportive. Thank you for this. Thank you. We thank God. I'm just glad that we finally have the interpretation of this dream. Yes. Finally. I don't think I'll be having it anymore. I need to go, Demi. I have some things to take care of. I understand. Let's pray. We want to do it for ourselves. Mm. We have our specs, which is not bad. We have the kind of person we're marrying. We have our package. Mm. You know, we have our time. The scripture says this time makes all things beautiful. So, what our advice every young person is like, let go to what he has. Let go to what he has. When he's done with you, you see that he's down. I'm sorry. Tony, I'm deeply sorry. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I'm supposed to cover you in prayers. Not join the enemies to throw stones at your heart and mind. I'm supposed to be your your greatest cheerleader. I'm supposed to be your support system. We should be there for each other. We should push each other to be the best version of ourselves. I'm sorry I've not been the best I ought to be for you. I'm, I'm sorry I've not been faithful to that place. I've pushed you to the cold with my words and I'm deeply sorry. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Yes, darling, you are trying. You are. And I'm trying to. Okay. It's alright. I will do better. I will. I'm sorry. We'll also do better. We will do better. Who is that? Well, I don't intend to spend much of your time. But it seems as though you are you have lost your place. Mr. Akachi, what nonsense were you spewing on the phone? Mr. Lano, just calm down. <laughs> Am I responsible for your irresponsibility? Uh-uh. What, what is my business with the economy? Am I the one who caused the economy to lose life? Uh, 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 so what? W what if you paid your 450000 last week? <laughs> that does not give you the right to... to, to, to now talk to me and say, uh, there's nothing I can do about it now. Who do you think you are? Literally, you're supposed to be begging me right now. There are many people out there in the cold looking for this kind of accommodation. Mr. Landlord, I paid you the agreed rent. Then you added 500,000 naira as an increase. And you expect us to start immediately. We should start next month. Who does that? Ah, who does that? See, just as I told you, I have a budget. I work on a yearly budget. I do not have any money. Wait, wait, wait where, do you, where do you want me to get it from? That's not my business. <laughs> Did I cause your lack? Oh. If you were a responsible man, eh, this won't be a hassle for you. Just get me my money. That is that. Excuse me, yes. Mr. Landlord. Thank you for your constant consideration for this family. God bless you. But you see, I will not sit here and watch you insult my husband. You have no idea 
how this man sacrifices for this family on a regular. You do not have the faintest idea how many projects he ventures into so that we can have enough. Look, concerning your money, you will get it when we have it, as this was not what you told us prior this year. And if you don't think so, I still have the documents you gave us concerning our tenancy, in which it was clearly stated that in the event of an increment, we will be communicated one year before its implementation. So what's all this? Ah, what document? Would you want me to send it to you on WhatsApp? Never mind. But you know, the economy has changed everything. Mr. Landlord, eh? the case of the economy affecting everything was never stated in the documents you both signed. All right? And don't forget, I am a barrister. So I counsel you to think before taking any action. And once again, thank you so much for constantly considering this family. God bless you. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I will personally go over your document of tenancy again. In any case, have a good day. Have a good day. Imagine. Madame Barista! Thank you. See? That man can be very I saw him come with shoulder pad on his shoulder. I saw the name. Imagine. You see the way he was calling me. Got to hold all his shoulder pad now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you for always defending our home. It's my job. Yes. I know it's your job, but all the same, thank you for doing that. And. I am willing to give each of us time to grow into our roles as husband and wife, as head, and as the body, as priests, as queen. <laughs> that's enough. That's enough. See, I just think that we should just pray. Yes, we should pray. <laughs> <laughs>